Hello? Hello? We here, gamers? We here, gamers? I have an ad. Okay. One minute left to spare. Oh, this Farina art. Oh, this Farina art is so nice. When did they change the image? When did they change the image? You were so devastated when they didn't mention the free ten pull. I know they were so dirty for that, man. Oh, they were so dirty for that. That was so funny. Just now, I okay. I might pull for Farina. I oh, I might pull for Farina, man. Oh, I might do it. I feel like I feel like I must. I feel like it is it is a necessity for me to get her. You know. Why is there no audio for this? I want, like, BGM. I guess because they knew. They really, like... They really, like, put these, like, right next to each other. They could have given us, like, ten minutes in between, please. Like, having having a minute between the Star Rail and the, and the Genshin one, truly, truly stressful. Like, I, I, I was stressed. Also, it's, it's... No breaks. Wallet chuckles. I'm in danger. No, but, like, literally, though. All right. Okay. Though it appears that you've managed I to win over part of the crowd, some of your testimony doesn't add up. God, you I love Farina. You can be rest assured that I, Farina, the God of Justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. No detail shall escape me. Yes, that sounds perfect. A God must be firm. God must not allow so any cute. detail to slip through the cracks. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just as the will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, that you are compelled okay. to provide an accurate account of your I actions. love her. I love Farina so much. <laughs> that way no more. That way is only on like 3.0s and like now what's uh next? year anniversaries. <sighs> it's so hard to predict how people are going to She's react. so cute. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. I love her. It, is there something that you needed? I like how she's able to convey if you wish to seek an audience with me, then her insecurities make it really well throughout her voice. All right, I'm ready. According to the judgment of the oratrice, I'm ready. Uh oh. Wait, the what? Hydro Archive <gasps> to be punished. What? The death sentence. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You and I both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea. Everyone what? Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. What? Should gods be all powerful? What's done is done. Just trust in me. You're Archon. Never mind whether you can this music. yourself to or not. This music. I love her. I love her so much. She's so flashy. The show begins. Ah. Wait, are we not gonna address what we just saw? Are we? Are we not going to address what we just saw? Hey Charlotte. They just said sort of death and like we're just happy moments. What's going on? I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water. Oh, wait, Looks wait, wait, the whoa, whoa. There's something on the left. Well, the water, I mean. The prophecy. Um. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning 
do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. What's going on? You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be. No more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? What is going on? A plan and rejoice. We're just a moment. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. Seem to remember the floor will now be This begin. trial is... I now understand the true purpose what? behind this position. What is going on? You are a devious one, Fusalor. Oh, child's rat. Papa, what should I do, Papa? Papa, what the should I do? The that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. <laughs> Who are you? What? I what? suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent <gasps> and dramatic what? trial. Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What? What? What just happened? You guys, you guys, you guys, what, what? Um. What the hell just happened? What? Okay, Farina got sentenced. Navia fell off a freaking cliff. Who was that lady and why was she gorgeous? What is going on? What is going on? Yeah, no, this is the best trailer yet. Holy. <laughs> who are you? Maybe I don't know. Who, who is that? I've never seen her before. Guys, this is why... Listen. This is why I'm anti-leak. Do you understand how genuine my reaction to seeing that character was? Truly. Truly. Hey, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact Lumen! version 4.2 special program. Woo! <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to bring you the latest news oh, for the bro, upcoming I'm, version. My heart okay, hurts. Why don't you what's going on? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey everyone, I'm Amber Lee Connors, oh, the voice so of stressed. Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. And as the story continues, how will this special god avert the crisis foretold in the prophecy? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, Bro, I, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, my heart hurts. At the edge of my seat. My heart is stressed my right now. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nivellet, the Dragon Sovereign of Water and Udex of Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner. That was partner, such a good trailer. Oh my god, that was such a good trailer. 4.2. Yes, for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay. So yep. <laughs> next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. Bro, what's going on? In the on? intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big Thank celebrity at the Opera chat. House. Bro. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems pretty packed. You can't so tell the difference between Lumen and uh, Farina, really? Oh, looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials. I like how I just house. replaced her with that. But this trial is a little this art is so pretty. from usual. Ooh, Act five. Interesting. Dude. I know. I, know. I'm, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's some spotlights and like, it's like. Elk Why is Farina being trialed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is she like, being trialed? You know, Please, I need answers right now. You're falling off a cliff. From, from yeah. Behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff. <laughs> Am I going to pull? I might pull for Farina. 
<laughs> this is a gorgeous movie poster. <laughs> okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian Bro, friends what's to going delve on? deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Travelers will gradually unveil new facts behind this crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. Ooh. I know. I know. Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spoopy. Um, right? So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we faced in our journey through to that. Guys, I'm so sorry. Definitely. I'm truly. In version 4.0. Guys, I, I feel like you can tell my energy. I'm just like, what do I just watch? Never let barely I'm just arrive like... in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress <laughs> just of like, I'm, I'm, an, still, I'm like breathless from this. Poisson. Luckily, the no, was Navia! by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Baby. Though we probably can't discuss oh, like, the what? assistance provided by the nave either. Why are we Whatever at the grave as well? Whatever her goal may be, it seems like she still wants to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But there's only so much that we can say. Navia, Travelers my beloved. will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. Yes, exactly. So be sure to play through. The program did start with a death flag. It started with a death banner. Epic chapter there's no way they're going to kill off an Archon. When Act 5 of the Archon quest becomes available. Sounds good. Listen, if any right. if any archon's gonna <laughs> die, Question. it's Have gonna be the fire archon. Important character who's because Himiko's not allowed to live in any be. universe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you mean child? Yeah. Yeah. Where's uh, child? We searched just say. all of the gorgeous <laughs> for him. <laughs> yep. I, I guess we'll just have live with the suspense for a little longer <laughs> not ideal but it's fine mm, it's what it is uh, it is what it is but playable archons playable archons at the end of the last version's archon quest so it probably won't be long until we see him again okay, okay. good mm -hmm. but we really need to talk about farina she's what? confronted why? with a cri <laughs> yeah, what why she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons hmm. of course Fontaine will have the traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, oh, well, just <laughs> like the prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. But knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some preparations. Mm, huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Come Farina on, has such, guys. like, bullyable energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. <laughs> Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? <sighs> you must be stunned her. and at a loss for words. I really love Farina. <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all, Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. I love her so much. Oh my gosh, I love her mm. outfit. She's yes. so cute. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. I think Farina is, is in my eyelashes. top five yes. Genshin characters of all time. You know, it's you'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. <gasps> oh, oh, no, yes. he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> okay, you know what? It did he, he really? She's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, let's take a look at her combat ability. I'm <laughs> sick of them. I'm sick. Hey. <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. <laughs> knew the people would adore me so much. I love her. She's so stupid. Um, guys, do I need to, uh, one in chat if I should pull for Farina? Two in chat. Strike a pose. If I should also pull for Farina. Let the world come alive! Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I think we're pulling for Farina. <laughs> I think we're Whoa, that is wow. so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of, like, bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's so flashy, bro. It's like all her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone mm. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, so the creatures that Farina summoned, Do you guys think they, they, they postponed this by a week? Like the phantom or aberrants that we've encountered before. Because the trailer There's went the too hard. A crab, an octopus, and they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh my gosh, no, the octopus is even wearing a hat. What a distinguished little gentleman. Um, Aww. a correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a oh? bit different from phantom or aberrants, uh, okay. I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, they even help manage her Oh, daily someone events. died, okay. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often in Oh, damn, and this trailer had a lot of death, which is known or, like, as themes as well. Solitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> They're the best. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then Wait, that's got so the cute. Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, oh, there mm -hmm. he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. The conferencier, gentilhomme usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for propriety. Oh. oh. Okay, okay. So when Farina said to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, this is who she was referring to? That is yes. so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. But Farina's so Farina stupid. I love her. Bubbles in her idol animation. Oh Monsieur my Boublet. gosh. That's adorable. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, oh, I love Farina. Oh, it. I love Yay. Farina. So, Bro, Farina is a hydro sword user. Something about seeing okay. Farina cry, mm -hmm. though. Oh. Mm. She usually oh, you guys. to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. Farina crying? Stage, Mwah. Her elemental Mwah. skill invites the three members of the Salon It was, oh. Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, Salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active... What, do you guys not like seeing her cry? Their damage increases the more characters there are. Come on, it hits. Over come, a come on, come on. HP amount. Farina crying is okay, like. Okay, I was listening. It, it, to it's all good. That, it's very it's, top, you it's said good. That she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not Like, it makes your heart feel full. Damage, like, you want to protect her. But, like, I don't know. I like making her cry. I think it's cute. Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. Oh! That's cool. Uh, after Farina uses her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh! Right, yes. Hmm. The summons like a mini Kokomi in a way? elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched So it's out. like a mini Kokomi. Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's my trumpet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> so, um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members what? based on the amount of fan and a buff? she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I can whoa. already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. She, yeah, for real. What? And, um, She's an all-arounder. Due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the. I guess she's an archon. It makes sense. From the xenochromatic Fontmer aberrants. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. Yeah, <laughs> and that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, it's the secrets <laughs> lurking in the depths. <laughs> oh, and I yeah, like forgot. Yeah, Mona uh, kind of like fusion. Whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina. Gains the ability to walk on water. What? Oh gosh, that is so She's cool. Jesus? <laughs> yes. 
Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's We can run to Inazuma now. She switches between our colors. Oh, yeah. Guys, we yeah. can run to Good Inazuma. Eye. You're correct. You. It does change. <laughs> but, you know, such is the charm of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about Farina, then be sure to accompany her. God, I love her Farina. I love her so the much. The Animula Kuraji chapter. Ah, amazing. Mm. Okay. So next up, we have another old friend to introduce. She's oh. now able to join oh, the Traveler's Charlotte. party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right. It's Charlotte. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, so cute. We've known Charlotte for a while now. The Traveler met her during the, the Summoner's Kokumi, Summit uh, event, which uh, took them on an adventure I don't know the buck. all Co over Kokumi's the map. already really yes, good. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Charlotte's hard-hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth Really I like how she's dressed like pom pom. Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a but it's not, I wasn't disappointed. I mean, she's just there. Ridesley, though she didn't end It's up like the hype from Freena, then you're like, okay, Charlotte. But I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents and the truths they contain. Ooh. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for photography Wait, is Wait, her camera's remarkable. a little penguin. No That's adorable. the subject of setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. The peerless Monsieur Verite turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Charlotte's in a Honkai Impact That's as so Stigmata, cool. is she? And Monsieur Verite is so cute, he even has his own little hat and tie. <laughs> I know. She's gonna die for Fontaine's sins. Maybe. Both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verite's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, <laughs> that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. Yes, it really Monsieur does. Monsieur Verite. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase. Yeah, can they Sally? can they talk about that lady that we saw? If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, I want to see that lady we saw for a second. Story nearby, just waiting to be discovered. Say cheese. I love Fontaine's music. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she okay. is really like moving around. Yes. Uh, honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect of a reporter for the Bro, what's that word? Even in her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, that and then, like, what the hell is a that lively word? character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> we need more weapon types. Charlotte ends with a camera. Always on the move. <laughs> if it hurts, it works. Who's on the march. Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite, she captures enemies from all angles, unleashing attacks while discovering God, the power of Flash, weaknesses. man. Yeah. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. Does she not have Same. more you know, I guess? Stamina consumption? Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Wait, where's Charlotte's her... Holding elemental skill strengthens Wait, these stamina effects bar. and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm. Now her elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously Ooh. restores HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When is she paired the first with cryo -catalyst? characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. Aww. Now that is not all. There is more. During <laughs> there the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the zoom oh, lens. Oh, maybe. Okay. Ooh. When Charlotte activates the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called first person shutter. Oh my gosh. That's when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. 
That is so cool. Yep. That huh? is super rad. And you know, I have a feeling Aww. some super cool pictures are going to come out of that. Oh, I like yeah. how they're we're ominously coming more towards information us. about the zoom lens and how to use it during the event overview portion. So, Farina and Charlotte will both oh, be in version 4.2. Okay, nice. Charlotte's wishes. with Farina. Ooh. In the first half of version 4.2, we'll have event wishes showcasing Farina and Baiju. During this time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge. Huge. <laughs> huge boost. A new five star sword, Splendor of Tranquil that is Waters, gorgeous. will be featured in the weapon event banner. That is so and pretty. Sword. <laughs> In the second half of version 4.2, oh, we'll have reruns, two reruns. for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Okay. Instead let's of giving us look at what characters that we've we can learn saw in the story, Venturi. like Clora and or Navia, hmm, it it's fine. Like she's it's fine. Something. We don't need. Oh, we don't need a report new attached. Fontaine characters oh, that says? we saw. Okay, it's fine. Well, it says <laughs> strange rumblings have been heard in the rumbling, depths of Fontaine's rumbling. waters. Oh. All devouring oh. narwhal. Oh. It's here already? Oh, oh no. Look at that. Oh, oh no. Well, well, well. <laughs> it looks like it's in a sea of pink and blue stars. It's in a sea of butterflies. Oh, remember this Illusions whale. of the past. Well, Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Vision at the end mm -hmm. of the version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, it's the <gasps> Oh, same one. shoot. After ravaging its way through the primordial sea, this otherworldly creature has this is very long pretty, last broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. Ooh, oh it's it's a real big, big. It uh, it feels like it might even burst straight through the screen. Well, I like I how like not. the water follows you <laughs> as you're running. I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through. You no, know? no, no, no. The exactly. East C6 Kazuha, you can. In the first phase, it will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AOE attacks from all directions. Dodging is definitely your friend with this one. Oh boy. No, um, I don't believe in dodging. Okay, okay, okay. So there also seems to be sort of a progress bar next to the boss's HP hmm. bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay, since we can't outfight it, we'll have to outsmart it instead. Oh. The creature just freed itself from captivity and is brimming with anger. So if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. wait, is, is somebody mm. being eaten? Is, uh -oh. it, is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess here it is. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> This is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here with a massive sword. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, these summoned creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal is with all of this. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale? Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Well, we have to defeat the whale? Ooh, yeah. Why are you going all after me like that? All will be revealed. what I do? version 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh man, this boss looks really, really tough. Bro, um, show me the hot lady. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, sorry, I'm free to play. Yeah, this free to play. update actually <laughs> helps with that problem. <laughs> Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I'm free to play. I'm free to play. I'm free to play. Are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully, this provides a Ooh. smoother gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. For oh, me! I love that. Now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance the main story. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, um, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short little break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yeah! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Loser mode. That's so funny. God, she's so pretty, Farina. You guys, I'm sorry. Like... What was that trailer? That was such an intense trailer. That was so good. I feel like I've never screamed that much. I, I feel like I scream a lot during the, the Genshin trailer specifically. But I feel like I've never screamed that hard at a trailer before. Like, there, was, there was so much happening. Does someone really need easy mode? I mean, you guys, you have to understand. You have to understand. Most... Players are very casual. The ones that are seeking this content online are not casual. 
I love Farina, you guys. Farina's like the best Archon. She is... She is my only Archon as well. Like, imagine an Archon I actually like. That's crazy. Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay! So, we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. Mm -hmm. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what other wait, information we can more. learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, Tour aside around from investigating Fontaine. crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Mm, I certainly didn't. <laughs> well, you know, maybe never she's hilarious, just using it bro. as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Farina and excuses. <laughs> Typical. Dude, he's so tired. Hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. It looks like Farina is in Erinias Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the opera house. What a cool place. Oh, whoa. Although, it does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> definitely. Wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely Wait, that looked really see. pretty. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch That Urania. looks like Nervulet's uh, see, skill. A strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the middle of the lake. It's almost like it's preventing certain things oh. from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Mm. Wait, did they forget to animate the rest of her and hair in that clip? This, the foggy forest path. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. <laughs> what about this area? The weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, it looks all withered and spooky. And the water doesn't look quite right. Mm -mm. Like it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. That's what they showed Child in the trailer, like and now we're just not talking about him. Unless something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh oh. Ew. Speaking of, there are always new things to discover beneath Fontaine's waters. In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contaminants from the bacterial mats. Okay, this is like the bacterial in mats. Sumeru, right? Very cool. With the, uh... In addition, with the help of a special device, Travelers will the, be able to the, use the, this creature's the, the, abilities on the called. surface as well. You know, they may be the key to solving certain puzzles or perhaps oh, yeah, also like in the certain chasm. objects. But we'll leave that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn more about the story behind the new withering, yeah. Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called the Wild Fairy of Erinias. I'll give you a hint: Melazines are involved. <gasps> Really? Oh, then it would certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> hey, if it's voice, <laughs> we'll play it. Forest, if it's not voice, it's a skip. That's, there, that's usually how it goes. The singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps Ooh. it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. Actually, it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary. So let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Algae Sea. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals, bro, I need them to talk about what happened in the trailer. And its long buried secrets. I'm, I'm truly, I'm, my heart is not okay. Oh, amazing. Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, Same. I also <laughs> we all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Mm. It seems like there's a very they won't they can't. I want them to though. Story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below, and this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke we love Child, up new life like no one likes. No, I think Child's very popular. I think people like making fun of him. Whoa, I enjoy bullying destinies. Child, but I like him destinies. as a character. In certain underwater He's just cave, new life form very is fun to bully. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation. And Sheeran looking ass. Love so him. don't let your guard <laughs> down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. 
And some places still seem to tell the stories of events long past, no matter how long they've been abandoned. So in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax Ooh, of the Narcissus and Croix's adventure quest line that That's was introduced pretty. over the last two versions. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? A surprise! <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new area. Oh, of the map, whoa! But Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Oh, wait. It looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her But wait, with her there's subjects. more! Aww. Hmm, Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. Speaking of, let's move on to the event portion. Okay, yeah, the events. Is anything with Navia? Right. The Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted a commission to investigate oh, a free the rumors Fermine. of water imps near Arrhenius Island. Ooh, another investigation. I know. Uh, Fremine. Oh, and Fremine seems to be involved. That little clockwork <sighs> penguin next to him that must was good. be one of his other that companions. That was good. But it doesn't look like Fremine. Air. Actually, its name is Thelxie. The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that, that lives underwater. That's good. That's good. Adults I hate how good that sounded. Keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxie to devour. Ooh. Jeepers. Yeah. For real. <laughs> well, children for must real. be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? It does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be a, some other reason. Wait, hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremine make some improvements. I don't think I have him. I don't think I got him when penguin. I was. I only did a there few polls on the banner he was on. Three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. Oh. In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. Oh, a puzzle oh, event. Cool. Is this not? As our journey progresses, we'll collect colorful shells, is... corals, and other items which can be used to outfit our little friend is with weapons and equipment. Is this not the Aram Alley event? Which brings us to the second stage of the event, using an echoing conch to was, search underwater that... and find the items that we need. Was that not just Aram Alley? And, uh, you know, what, what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like monsters. Puzzles, Please not underwater fighting. Please no. Is. Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly. In the third stage of the event, the clockwork penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Of course, the clockwork All those level penguin will provide crazy. different buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Whoa. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Let's see. After helping the penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Cool. Hania, a friend we met in Sumeru, has arrived in Fontaine to promote Little Fungi's fantastic fiesta. Little Fungi's! Oh, and speaking of fun guys <laughs> i think i recognize some familiar faces <gasps> bongo head it's time to shine wait what Yay! who's bongo head travelers <laughs> may notice some differences in this updates fungi event aside from taking place in Fontaine, who's bongo head the gameplay has also been optimized previously we led the little fungi in battle against mechanicai this time, Who's we'll have the head? opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Ooh. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, what adjusting is this TFT their movement looking to target game? different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. Yeah! <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with is the, one the fungi more quests? than ever. Here's hoping. We uh, actually, I have a little note here to pass along from our developer friends. I don't remember Bongo Head. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't remember Bongo so Head. <laughs> well, they hope to make the little fungi and some it other is TFT. events permanent, so travelers can play at any time. The team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain well, long-term Was it in an event? Because I didn't play any 3.0 so, events. We're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Oh, Thanks. summer event. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at what else Farina's itinerary has in store. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial Technology Experiment. Dude, there's log. so much in this patch. I'm more than ready to fight some adversaries. Let me at them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's so could, much in this it patch. It doesn't actually involve fighting. 
a researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology, has made great contributions to the study of counter-criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success. But free modes, gamers, free modes make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Pauline's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five Ooh. different sample types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. Oh. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. That's right. It's the zoom lens we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction. Oh, how fun. Bro, I can use, use it to zoom and look up Navi's skirt. Activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The oh, zoom yeah, I'm lens so sorry. My intrusive thoughts all won. Cameras obtained I'm, so, I'm so sorry. This point. I mean, I respect other women. Characters, the zoom lens won't so, be so able I respect, to be used in I respect combat, women. but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap pics with zoom lens even <laughs> while fighting. Wow. You can even use it in domains. <laughs> Double wow. Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet travelers will be able to capture some amazing moments in co-op mode too. Mm -hmm. And even if you miss the chance to participate in the event, there's no need to worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. Sweet. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, it seems like Farina has also learned of the existence of a domain shrouded in mist. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the ley line features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now, less experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry either. Using trial characters and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the ley line are also great ways to come out on top. Oh, cool. That's right. And travelers 30 who are minutes? more confident in their combat skills can choose to jump straight to the final challenge. 30-minute timer. <laughs> also, the ley line overflow event will return at the end of version 4.2. Now might Why? be the perfect time to start building your parties. Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. But nice, Layla and Overflows. That's nice. That's good. We love times Yay! two events. Oh, let's get into them. <laughs> well, before we get into them, oh, let's I'm covering a quick break to have a look at the final redemption code for today. See you in a bit. No, okay. it's multiple domains for 30 minutes. <laughs> ah, but wait, there's more. That's a really, that's a pretty picture. You guys, why is Navia falling off a cliff? Why? I need I need to understand why. Why was she falling off a cliff and no one's mentioning anything about it? Because she's Geo. Cause she's falling in love with you? That's that right there. Yes, yes, you know, yes, you know. I think everyone's gonna unironically die. They're not gonna kill off everyone. I think we're gonna get a few death jump scares, but then someone is going to die. She heard the camera comment. No, 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 no. She fell before I made that comment. Please be realistic here, all right? God, there's so much con- Oh, I'm so upset I'm gonna miss the update. Oh, I'm so upset I'm gonna miss the update. This looks amazing. Welcome back, travelers. Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Aww. Aww. I know. So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. System let's optimizations? Okay. So first up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. Oh. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally oh. True. In version 4.2, Travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the adventure What? Handbook. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Um, yeah, now we don't have to wait to advance the story before we can level up a new character. Oh, challenge. that's so nice. Exactly. Also, we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation Stop TCG. Stop trying to make TCG a thing. Three it's not new going to happen. Cards five new action cards will be added. There will also be an accelerate dual feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. 
pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing codes will also be available. Oh, that's cool. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration that's cool. this is from actually cool. other travelers. That's oh, cool. That's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just My God, they put Mon official on a team, you the guys. The number of decks real. a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> Double. And in addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Doubled again. Double, nice. double. Double again. The double. <laughs> double, the developers double. have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated battle mode and the Forge Realm's temper, Endless Swarm, will also return in version 4.2. Ooh. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and wow. exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Okay, guys, I have to trigger. Night. I have to trigger this. Plus, a new story key privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Oh, that's sexy. Quest optimizations will also be available in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. Travelers will now get to choose whether to accept a story quest after unlocking it. Whoa. Oh, nice. that's so and good. Hopefully, travelers won't be overwhelmed by a sudden influx of quests anymore. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. The update has also made notifications about prerequisite Bro, quests. Bro, Yai's quest is clear, haunting me in my it dreams. Easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come to a close. Guys, we're gonna rewatch the trailer. <laughs> we're gonna rewatch the trailer. So we need to rewatch that. Happening, and um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I'm personally very jazzed for the fun guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They are keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love Tenpole, the idea of the you're combat watching the long era. live stream. Um, but uh, uh, for me and Monsieur Novelette, uh, we are here for the melusines. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my, oh my uh, well, gosh. This has been so much fun with both oh my of you. Goodness. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. Now you're the NPC blocking um, quest, Toyo. I thought they 4. did. That's the 4.2 special program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. Toodaloo. 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 The appointment time is November 8th. Bro, I'm gonna be traveling! Wait, that's Wednesday. Bro, I'm gonna be traveling. I'm so annoyed. Oh, I'm so annoyed I'm gonna be missing the update. This looks like such a great update. How, oh God, I don't, guys, when am I gonna have, when, when am I gonna play everything? When am I going to play everything? Yeah, we're going to rewatch the trailer real quick. No, no, there was a third uh, code. I probably just forgot to pin it. Um, I just don't travel. <laughs> Thursday, we have to play reverse 1999. Um, and I'm not going to stream again till next Thursday, the Thursday after. And then we're going to play Star Rail. Or should we just do Genshin that day? Star Rail on Saturday. And then. Bro. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, let's go to YouTube real quick. Where's... Oh, lol. It hasn't been premiered yet on YouTube. Can they... Did they post the uh, trailer? They didn't post the trailer yet. They, uh... They didn't, uh... They didn't post the uh, the the trailer yet, so I am unable to rewatch it at this moment in time. Simply rewatch my reaction to the trailer instead. God, this is such a hype patch, though. This is so hype. 
it was it was it was so good it, it was it, it, it was that was really good and then like star wheel patch looks solid as well I'm, I'm trying to think like when am i gonna have time to play everything because um so next saturday so basically i have to look at the calendar basically i won't be able to play star rail or genshin until the 16th on stream so like god i'm gonna miss you guys i'm gonna miss you guys but um i don't know which one i'm gonna do I don't know what I'm going to do first. I guess we'll see. I'll see how hype Genshin and the Star Rail stuff is. I'll, I'll pick whichever one is more hype. Maybe we'll do Star Rail first and then we'll do Genshin. Like, we'll do Trailblaze's continuance and then we'll do Genshin. The next, like, maybe we'll do Genshin on that Saturday. We'll find... I'll find time. I'll find time. I'll find time for it. Don't worry, you guys. I'm not going to... I have to touch grass, unfortunately. But but we will we will get there. Uh, you're going to miss you too playing, uh, while playing the Arca Quest. Yeah, at least no one will get spoiled. Weren't you going to rewatch the spooky star? It's whatever. I'm going to watch all my free time. Thank you guys so much for, 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 for watching and, and, and experiencing the uh, Genshin and Star Rail live streams with me. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below if you are going to be pulling for anyone or if you're super duper excited for everything as well. Uh, tonight... We are polling for E6 Sealy over on twitch.tv slash Mina Aoyama. So please make sure to, to go go over there. Follow go follow that channel as well. We just hit 40k over there, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we're almost at 41k, I think. Uh, but thank you guys so much for, for all the love and support. I do appreciate you all. Tomorrow we're playing Reverse 1999 over on Twitch. We are going to be uh, blazing through the story. So we're going to be trying to do um, uh, chapters 2, 3, and 4 tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, uh, then I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm going, I'm traveling, but I'll be able to stream next Thursday for uh, Reverse 1999 1.1 update. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for the streams. Thank you guys for watching the special programs with me. And I will see you tonight on Twitch. Uh, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.